from your own country that you almost speak the same language and understand yourself will come into your life and what they are looking for is something to tarnish you, to destroy, to make you feel that you are nobody. Hello my wonderful people, how are you all doing? This was not something I've planned to do but uh, I just woke up from bed and I saw a video that has really touched my heart. That was the first video I saw this morning and it has really, really, really affected my mood this morning. And I just want to uh, make a short video about it as a woman that I am. And I know how it feels for a woman to be vulnerable, for a woman to feel this pain. Look, is it wrong for a woman to love? Is it wrong for a woman to fall in love? Is it wrong for a woman who is a celebrity, a woman with power, to find a love in someone, to fall in love? It isn't a bad thing or a bad idea. Love is created for human beings, for us to fall in love. That is why God created love and deposited the spirit of love within our bodies. So that we can love one another. You understand? But what is going on now in our dispensation, it becomes very difficult for even a woman to accept to be with a man. It has become very difficult to even to go into marriage because many of our youth don't want to go into marriage. They just want, even relationship is ending them bad. Men will come into their life just to, some men, just to do what? Destroy their peace to make them look like they are not even worth it. I quite remember when I was dating, I lose myself into a relationship and I lose my self-esteem. I even see myself like I, I don't even, I, I'm nobody. That is what they made me to feel. You understand? That is what they made me to feel like that. I am nobody. And I see myself, okay, I have not even completed university. I have not been to university. Maybe if I were to complete university, I were to have my money. I were to be riding my own car. Maybe the self-respect will respect me and treat me well. So I lose my self-confidence and I lose myself. The thing that I want us to know as women is that no man can love you better than yourself. No man on earth, no man born of a woman can love you more than you love yourself. And the love of God that he will love you is, can never be compared to the love a man will give you on earth. Don't pour all your heart, don't give all your strength, don't deliver your secret into the hands of a man you barely know. There are many celebrities, there are many women with power, with money, not that they don't want to go into a relationship, not that they don't want to marry, but because they are so scared to go into it, they are so scared, what if this person who is coming into my life is coming to destroy me? What if this person who is coming into my life don't have good intentions? So at the end of the day, they end up dead. They want to have children. They want to be with a family. They want to create family, but they are scared to give their heart to someone. To love someone or to allow a man into their lives. So there will be the people who will be talking. You have to marry. You are getting older upon all your money. What are you waiting for? Even we that we don't even have the money. They come to break our heart to destroy us. People with money. They come. They get all their money. They give their cars, their properties. And then later they will tarnish their image. That they are like this. They are like that. That is why no man can marry them. Woman. I want you to know. That no man can love you more than you love yourself. And I also want to let you know, when you go into a relationship, do not give 100% of your love to a man. A man you are just beginning to know. A man you've just started dating. Do not tell all of your past, even if the person hear of it, let him have the way he hears it let him be in his head like that. Never try to clear yourself. Never try to tell your 
partner, your present partner, your, 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 your things of past, what you have been through, they will use it against you. In your most vulnerable estate, they will use it against you. They will use it to destroy you. I want you to know that you are important and no man born of a woman can love you more than you love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself and represent yourself well. I want you to open your Bible to Jeremiah chapter 17. Let's read Jeremiah chapter 17, the verse 5 to the verse 7. Let us hear what the Lord has to tell us. The Bible said, this is what the Lord says. Cares is the one who trusts in man, who depends on flesh for his strength, and whose heart turns away from the Lord. If you put your trust in a man, when you put your trust and your love in a man, you do what? You turn away from the Lord because the person who, ha who is to have our heart, the control of our heart is God who manages it well for us. But the moment you have decided to give your heart to a man, you have turned away from the Lord because that, is, that person will be now controlling your heart instead of you letting God to direct your heart and to control your path. That is what the Lord is letting us to understand this morning. And when you read from the verses, he said, He will be like a bush in the waterlands. He will not see prosperity when it comes. Because when you give your heart to a man, even when another opportunity is knocking at your door, because your heart is being occupied with that person, with that thing, your eyes cannot open to see the greater light that is glittering or that is brightening in front of you because your heart has been captured by one particular thing. So you'll be there and then distraction will catch you on the way because you have been blindfolded. He said, he will dwell in the patch places of the desert, in a salt land where no one lives. At the end of the day, they will leave you lowly, you'll be devastated, you'll be broken, that even no one will, come, will love to come closer to you. They will tarnish you and destroy you, that you become like a desert, a lonely person. You become like you are nobody, you fill with guilt, with pain. When you read from verse 7 says, But blessed, hallelujah, somebody. But blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in the Lord. But blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. Bless the Lord, somebody. Let your confidence and your trust be in the Lord. Blessed are you among women. Blessed are you in the land. Blessed are you wherever you step your foot. Blessed are you in your relationship because the Lord is with you because your trust is in him even if you're in a relationship you know more than half of your heart is with God so the one that you give to the man is just few so if he try to break it destroy he cannot because what your foundation is built on God let us learn that man cannot give us what we want let us know that no man can love us more than we love ourselves. One thing I want to conclude here, most of our men that need to love us, that need to protect us, that need to respect us, our men are taking our heart for granted. Our men are making us feel like we don't even belong to our men group. Our men your own man from your own city from your own country that you almost speak the same language and understand yourself will come into your life and what they are looking for is something to tarnish you to destroy to make you feel that you are nobody men african men treat us well african men love us african men we are precious if you keep on treating us this way, if you keep on breaking our heart, because women, we are many, and you keep us doing this, a time is coming, no African woman will be, will be pleased, will be eager to what? To join with his own brother, or his own, with his own, if you are mean brother, with his own, um, from the same culture, from the same tribe and all that. It's very difficult because what we are saying, they will do it and they will bring social media to destroy you. I will listen to the lady. The lady said, 
when you cannot do such a thing in a foreign country, people from the Western world can never treat a woman like that because they know the law will face them. They know what the law is. But our people do that. They do it. They do it without having any issue. Let us be careful what we do. Because whatever seed we sow here, you'll be happy that you are doing something. But the Lord is looking at you. And if you don't pay for it, it is something you are creating for your children. Children that they'll come and suffer and pay for it. God bless you, my wonderful people. And stay blessed. And please, protect your heart. Give your heart to God. And God will manage it well for you. God will take care of your heart. That you'll find a peace you'll find joy in yourself that even when the mountains are moving things are going all around you are standing on a solid rock i love you all and i'll see you again bye for now